Hey, uh, how's it going everybody? Peter here. A uh, little video sponsored by Squarespace in which I am going to show you a few snippets of some things that have been happening in my life. So, some of, some of them are kind of cool. One thing I did is I went to the scrapyard to find some metal for a sculpture I wanted to make. And I found some metal. I also found some crazy machines. Machines, yes, in great towering piles of rubble and refuse. The Bolt Buffet. Then I stopped by to see Kevin burning his new iron furnace. Burning a fire inside of it helps to cure the newly installed refractory material, the insulation. Later, I went to my piano lesson. I got there a little early, so I just sat there and looked at all the brightly colored doors and listened to the plonking of piano notes filter through. The colorful doors and thought hey in a few minutes that's gonna be me I wonder if I should just start wearing these glasses for like everyday regular fashion purposes you know just fashion glasses you know, like, do they frame my face and eyes well? I don't need them to see, but I could wear them. Like, just for fun. Actually, just for fun could be good enough. I don't know. Okay, a little sponsored scribble here. Go check out Squarespace and see what they've got as far as setting up your own website, getting it hosted, and live on the internet with a at www.whateveryouwant.com, okay? Go make your dream a reality. They've got all these amazing templates to choose from, and you can personalize them as much as you want, and you don't have to be uh, a, a super genius to make it look good and make it work well. Go sync up all your different social medias and everything, your website and your social media, your Instagram or Twitter, or whatever. They can all update each other. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter Draws for 10% off your first website or domain. This coffee maker right here, why, first of all, why do you need an, a metal manifold? This outer shell, you're not taking this coffee maker into a war zone, probably. The part you need in metal that needs to be well made is this lid part up here. And that's like the main part of this coffee maker that's, whoa, whoa. 
that's not well made. This part is flimsy and hard to look. If you if you try to flip this lid with just grabbing this tab, it lifts the whole coffee maker up. Unless you hit it hard and then it gets messy. You got to use a two finger method. It's annoying. I mean, it makes it makes good coffee, but it's just also very annoying. That's all. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh. Someone named Taylor very kindly sent me these cool rocks called stromatolite, which are essentially three billion year old fossils. They sent a smaller one fashioned as a necklace. Plus, as a bonus, they also sent this amazing rocks and minerals guidebook, and it's just packed with incredible facts, info, and of course, photographs. This is cool. And now, uh, this is added to my collection. Now I have a guidebook on trees, and a guidebook on birds, and now a guidebook on rocks. I sent you these little architects because I felt like they're very akin to what akin to you and what you do. Like you, they have built a fantastic world around them and are the OGs of their craft. They were the dominant life form on Earth for over two billion years and are thought to be primarily responsible for the oxygenation of the atmosphere. Earth's original architect slash landscaper. Stromatolite. These look like weird, like, like sand geodes. Look at those cool rings. But thank you, these are beautiful and a wonderful start to the beginning of my new rock collection. Thank you very much, Taylor. Thank you so much. I think that the inside of this geode that I'm trying to break open is quartz and the Rocks and Minerals guidebook says that quartz is one of the most common minerals in the Earth's crust, uh, counting for 12% of, of the crust, I guess. And that crystal collectors used to believe that the white rock crystal quartz inside of these geodes, they used to believe that it was petrified ice. Hmm. A lot of cool things to stick your hands in in these classes I'm taking. This here is plaster, which I'm using to make a bunch of little pedestals to put found objects on. You know, there's this idea to turn trash into something interesting or maybe the same idea with how I like looking at the piles of scrap at the scrapyard and going right back into the trash cans once I got back to school and taking little things that people had been walking on and putting them on this little these little pedestals I made. Each little piece of what's it is at least worth looking at one more time and so i made like a little miniature art gallery with a bunch of these little plaster pedestals i 3d printed a shape and added some details with clay and then i made these little pedestals and i thought hey whatever you put on here it's just a little acknowledgement that it's special and you can put anything on there that fits mostly only small things fit but i tried a lot of different little objects pieces of gravel, pe little pieces of wood, random mechanical pieces I found in the metal dumpster out back, crumpled pieces of paper and squidges of clay, and it, really it makes anything, sl well I don't know about slightly more interesting, just makes anything a little seem a little more worthy of interest I guess, which is an interesting transformation in itself. Here are some cups I've been making with the slip cast method of making pottery. They're not finished. This is what you would call greenware. It hasn't been fired in the kiln at all yet, but it's coming along. Mm. 
this. This is the slip. Like I said, more fun things to stick your hands in. Now I'm going to show you how I pour this uh, fluid clay into my molds. I have two molds prepared. But first, it needs a little mixing up. Now, because I was both trying to concentrate on pouring the molds and record with the other hand, my concentration was split between both of them and I didn't end up doing either of them particularly well, including how you can see that I was dribbling slip onto the mixing mixing drill below and missing a little bit and not keeping everything entirely in frame and so so it goes sometimes that's okay it's better to concentrate wholly on one thing but sometimes you got to try to record then there's some waiting time because i have to let the casts dry out a little bit before it's safe to remove them from the molds. And I could be using this time to make more molds perhaps, but sometimes I just sit there and doodle a little bit in my sketchbook. Or maybe I go to the opening of a photography exhibit upstairs. Or maybe I will work on making some more molds, or at least the shapes I'm making molds of. No, no, I'm back to doodling again. Back to drawing. On another day, one of my classes meets at a nearby museum to look at art, and gain inspiration for an upcoming assignment. Museums are pretty cool. This is where some art is kept and put on display for consumption by the general public. So I consumed it. 